All right, so starting in one minute, we have two rounds of Tabata. I did change it from 20 to 25 seconds just to make sure that I get the full 20 seconds of each move. It's 20 seconds off, 10 seconds off. So we hopefully we'll get a couple extra seconds with it, but if not, we know we'll get at least our 20. So starting with side to side shuffles, we're coming in shoulder presses. We're going into wind mills, and then coming back, and you can do those with weights or not if you want to. We're coming into Arnold presses, so poof, poof, Arnold presses. Come on, just do a little job. You get crunches. If you don't want to take the mat, stay standing up for them. Otherwise, take to the mat. Crunches. Come back. Sit up with shoulder presses. Front raises. Reach throughs. Shoulder presses. Push-ups. High and leg raises. We're going to get into our side to side shuffles here. And we'll just say what we're doing as we're doing them. Lots of fun stuff. Two rounds, 16 moves. So ready? Side to side shuffles. In three. We're getting ready for it. Two. One. Go. Getting right into shoulder presses next. Poof. Getting those weights. And getting ready for shoulder presses. That's what we have up next. We're going to load them up. Go for it. For the shoulder presses, windmills, and then Arnold presses. I guess you can see that this circuit is a lot of upper body, but we do have some, a lot of core coming in here in a bit. Two, we have some core, and we have some legs. Windmills. I'm not going to do them with weight. You can do it with weights if you want to. I'm literally just going to do good old fashioned windmills side to side. Ready? Go. After the windmills, we do arm on presses next. And then when we get into the crunches, so remember, you can stay. Up if you want to do them standing, but I'm taking it to the mat. So you can stay up, do the arm crunches. You can do standing crunches, and then for the reachers, you can do cherry pickers. But I'll be taking it to the mat. So when I take it down for the mat for the crunches, after this, I'll do it, turn around, stay down there, just sit up for the presses and the lateral raises. Because then we have the reach throughs, and then the shoulder presses, and then push ups and lying leg legs. But line leg raises, if you don't want to stay on the mat, do standing and just do alternate leg raises. But we have crunches next. Come on down. Supposed to be fast moving. Now how it goes. Ready for it. Crunches. After the crunches, we get to do our shoulder presses. I don't know why the thing is not playing. It was playing, but it stopped. Oh, I hear it, but it's very, very faint. Okay, Google, turn up the volume. Come on up. Shoulder presses. Get those weights into it. That was one of the transitions. So like I said, it takes a little longer to get from one to the other sometimes. Front raises to side lateral raises are next. I'm grabbing the eights for those. Down we go. Front raise to side raise. Slightly forward. Sculpting those shoulders, come on. We got reach throughs after this. I guess this one, the song's a little bit long, the other one was, huh? There we go. Reach throughs, taking it all the way through. 
Come back. Use that core, come on. Like you got something on the tray, keep the tray flat. After these reach throughs, we have shoulder presses again. Right into shoulder presses again. Lots of shoulder presses in this one, huh? Do we have the camera in my way? I can't see. Push ups. <laughs> Push ups are next. Shoulder presses again, and then we're going into a folder forearm plank, side plank combination. It's going from one to the other. So, and over shoulder presses. Up we go. Last set of shoulder presses. We get to finish it with. Forearm, side, forearm, side. Down. So, out of the way. Mat in there, forearm plank, draw your shoulders back. From the forearm plank to the side plank, one side. Side plank, making it to the side. That's what it's supposed to be next to, like when we're starting, like now we're in the side plank. And the rest of my thing is like off the screen, I can't see it, but I know it's going to be back to a forearm plank and then to the other side. So, I just didn't give myself a 10 second break, huh? <laughs> Hold it up there. Five seconds. Keep it up a little bit. Activate that core. Okay. Forearm plank. We're stepping back and get into it. Draw the shoulders back and down. Other side. Straight over to it, and up we go. Now here's the deal. When I started the other side of it, I went right into it, so I held it longer, right? So this time, it's gonna beep. I'm gonna stay into it for a couple more seconds to get the full 
time, so I do the same on one side as I did on the other. So this is our final move, and we get to get a little stretch. And it's a beeping, it's saying we're gonna be done in five, four, three, two, and a one. Done. One up. Legs are out, twisting from one side. Towards the other side. Take those arms up and over and lean into it. Up and over the other direction. All right, so you can stretch it out some more. But that was Tabata, two times through. Repeat it if you want to, move on to something else. Whatever you do, you can check it off and say you got it done.